Hey guys, welcome to my August TBR. I'm really excited to share with you all the books I'm planning on reading for the month of August. Um, there's one readathon that I'm planning on taking part in, and it's the Read A Thon by um, ran by Kayla, and she also has some other co-hosts too. It's a week long readathon of reading Canadian books, so I'm gonna be including that TBR in here. It's from the third to the ninth. Um, so for the first, uh, first I wanted to tell you guys a couple of books that I'm like I've started, but I haven't finished yet. So the first one is Knots and Crosses by Mallory Blackman. I'm only um, about 60 pages into this one so far. This is the Waterstones paperback edition. Um, this book is very interesting. I can't really tell you too much about it because I barely started it, but it's kind of supposed to be a bit dystopian where um, instead of white people basically being like the elite class and um, black people were the slaves, it's kind of like a, um, what's the word for it? Like an alternate history <laughs> kind of where the black people in this world are the ones who have the power in the, in their racial class system. So it's pretty interesting so far. Like I said, I'm barely into it, so I don't really have a lot of thoughts on it yet. But I hope I like it because there's five books, I believe, in this series, so I'm gonna buy all the rest of them if I do like that one. I'm not sure how much progress I'm gonna make on this book um, for August because I didn't make any progress in July. And that's New Daughters of Africa by Margaret Busby. Uh, this book is a thousand pages long. It is an anthology and right now I am on page 312, so I have quite a ways to go. And luckily I was able to get to almost all of my TBR for July and then some so there was only one book that I did not get to and it's gonna be rolling over and I've rolled this over like two months already so far and that is Song of Solomon by Toni Morrison. Um, this one is definitely a high priority for August once I finish the books that I've already started I want to really get to this one. And then there's two other books I want to mention that I'm gonna try to finish up in August. Um, I started them but I'm like barely into them and they're checked out from my library so I don't have the physical copies. The first one is an audiobook and that is The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. Um, this book I've been seeing everywhere and I'm so excited my hold finally came through on the library. We're following two twin sisters and um, them running away from the small town that they grew up in and eventually following them as they're older returning back to town. One of the sisters has a because they're both very fair, so one of them passes as white, and the other one, she ends up with her, I don't know if it was her husband or something, having like a very dark skinned child, and so their relationship with the town that they came from and returning back, it sounds really good. I'm excited to finish it, um, but I've barely started it. So the other one is um, Zone One by Coulson Whitehead. This one is a dystopian book. Um, I'm about 26% into the book so far. Um, I've read The Underground Railroad and The Nickel Boys by Colson Whitehead and I like it. I love those books. Um, I'm not sure how I felt about this one so far. Like I'm a quarter of the way in and um, I don't know it's kind of slow and it's not as interesting as I would like it to be but I'm hoping that maybe in the next bit that I read something will happen and it'll pick up a little bit more. Okay so let's talk about the books that I have plan to read from the 3rd through the 9th for the readathon. So I've chosen seven books. There is, um, I will try to show you guys here, there's like a chart, um, like a bingo board type of thing that you can do. Um, I think I'm going to try and do the bottom row, which is a Canadian Book Award nominee, read on the cover, a book by a black author, and something that's not a novel, so I can make a bingo board for that. I've chosen seven books, and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to read seven in a week because some of these are full-length books. The first one is Shut Up You're Pretty. This one is a short story collection, so I have two short story collections to hopefully help me out during the week. Um, this is by Taeyeon Tonji. Um, this, I don't really know too much about this one, it's just a debut, and I believe that we're following um, characters who are um, minorities in all of these short stories. And then the other one is a Neil Hopkinson book. It's Skin Folk. Um, again, with this one, I'm not sure. I think it's supposed to be like science fiction or something. These short stories, so I'm looking forward to getting forward to getting to that one. As well as I have another 
book of hers, um, Brown Girl in the Ring, and I believe this one is science fiction as well. Um, so both of these would, all three of these books actually would count for a book by a black author. Um, as long as I read one of the uh, short story collections, then I'll have something that's not a novel. And then uh, I think this one has red on the cover, so that could count for that. And I think one of these won an won award. I know Brown Girl in the Ring has won awards. I'm not sure if it's won any Canadian awards. I'll show you guys the other four books that I have as well. These ones are full length novels. So the first one is Room by Emma Donahue. And this one I have the audiobook checked out from my library as well. Um, this one I've seen the movie actually for, which is really rare for me to watch a movie before I read the adaptation. I completely forgot about this book. Um, I had bought it because it's part of a collection of books and I feel like that's the only reason why I really bought it, but I figured I would go ahead and read it and see how it differs from the movie. Um, so yeah, the audiobook for this one I feel like for sure is something I'll be able to get to. This book could count for a Canadian Book Award nominee, I think. Um, it was shortlisted for the Man Booker and the Orange Prize, so... I don't know if either of those are Canadian. Then we have a Margaret Atwood book I figured would be a very fitting for a Canadian readathon and that is the first one in her series called Oryx and Crake. I don't know too much about this series. I believe it's also a science fiction or dystopian series. Um, I feel like this one honestly is the one I'm least likely to get to because I am reading two other series so far actually right now. So. Um, if I, so I just don't want to, I don't know if I want to really start a whole another one before I finish those, so we'll see. And then we have A Tale for the Time Being by Ruth Ozeki. Um, this one was also shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize. Um, what do I know else do I know this one? Oh, okay, so this one takes place in 2011 during the tsunami, um, and it takes place in British Columbia. I've had this book for a while and I've been meaning to get to it for forever. I also have the audiobook for this one. And then lastly, we have Clara Callan by Richard B. Wright. I completely spaced out when it came to this book when I bought it. I thought that this was written by Richard Wright who wrote um, Native Son and Black Boy, especially because I have those books in these editions and they look the same as this on the spine. So I thought this was the same Richard Wright, but no, this is Richard B. Wright, a completely different author. So I don't even know, like I randomly have this book. So I figured I would just try it out and read it a little bit and see if it's actually a book that I'm interested in reading or not. This one has won some prizes too, the Giller Prize and the Governor's General's Award for Fiction. I need to look up if e any of these, um, prizes are like Canadian book awards. So those are the seven books that I'm going to attempt to get to for the readathon. Um, I was planning on doing a vlog for it, but I just feel like I don't want to put the pressure on myself. I'm probably not going to, but I think what I will do is I'll film a separate wrap up, um, like the day after it ends so that I can share with you guys how it went, what books I got to and stuff like that before my whole wrap up for August. That way you don't have to wait um, until the end of the month to see how that goes. So as far as my reading for the rest of the month, because everything that I showed you guys will take me to probably about mid-month to get to, I have a few other books. I don't want to put too many more books on to my TBR for August. I want to have some room to add things on as I go. I'm sure I'm not going to finish all those books during that week readathon, so a lot of those will probably be finishing throughout the month as well. Um, so I just finished the fifth season by N.K. Jemisin. I can tell you guys for sure that I'm going to be completing this series <laughs> during this month. I was going to try and do one book a month, but no, I do not want to wait. <laughs> I am immediately going to be starting this as soon as... I'm just so... I really kind of want to start it right now, but I need to chill and finish the other things I have first. So I have the second one in the series, The Obelisk Gate, and the last one is the stone sky the stone sky and so yeah these will definitely be read once the readathon is over and then i have two other short books um i feel like i could squeeze in at any time that i know i want to get to um the first one i forgot to show you guys in a book haul in my last book haul i meant to show it but i completely forgot and that's home home by lisa allen agostini the main character in this book, she is uh, hospitalized for depression and her mother decides to move them from Trinidad to Canada, which now that I'm looking at this, I'm curious if this author is Canadian. Um, on the book jacket it doesn't say the author is Canadian, so I will not include this for the readathon, but this would be a perfect book because it's so short. 
And then the other book that I want to try and get to is Some Places More Than Others by Renee Watson. This one is a middle grade, I believe. And I had read What Mama Left Me like two months ago or a few months ago and I really, really loved it. So I want to read another book by her. This one, we're following Amara and I believe she's um, reconnecting with some of her father's family on that side. So her stories always have really good family dynamics and interesting things. So I have high hopes that this will be hopefully another five stars, but I'm not going to jinx it. So those are most of the books I'm planning on trying to get to in the month of August. Let me know if there's any readathons that you guys are participating in. I'm trying to keep it pretty chill with just doing the one for the month. Um, but other than that, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!